Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial for WP Table Builder. Today, we'll show you how to create mobile responsive tables your WordPress site's users can easily read on any device. Once you've installed WP Table Builder, you'll see a new option appear in your dashboard sidebar. If you click on it, you'll see a list of your existing tables, as well as an Add New button at the top. Clicking on it will launch the drag and drop table editor. The first thing you'll want to do is add a title and select the number of columns and rows you'll need for your table. You can always change this later if you need to, so just give it your best guess for now. After that, you'll be ready to start adding content to your table's cells. WP Table Builder includes five elements, text, image, button, list, and star rating. Using these features, you can create a wide range of tables incorporating all kinds of content. For the purposes of this video, we'll be making a simple product table. As you can see, we've started to set one up here by dragging and dropping the five elements from the sidebar into individual cells. We now have a column for product images, one for product names, one for a list of key features, one for customer ratings, and one that includes buy now buttons. You can change settings such as alignment, size, color, links, and more by clicking on an element and using the options in the sidebar. Additionally, if you hover over any element in your table, you'll see this small toolbar appear. The first icon enables you to drag an element into an empty cell, the second duplicates it, and the third will delete it. At any point while editing your table, you can click on the Manage Cells button in the main sidebar to add and delete columns and rows. You can also merge cells so that they're treated as a single entity, or split them again to edit them separately. There are also several other settings in the main sidebar to consider. In order for your table to adapt to smaller screen sizes, it's important to toggle not only the Make Table Responsive switch, but also the top row as header option. You may also wish to apply a border, adjust the cell padding, or change the colors of the header and rows. Once you're happy with your table, click on the Save Table button at the top of the editor. You may also click on the Preview button to see what your table will look like on the front end. Finally, it's time to publish your table on your WordPress site. Click on the Embed button to retrieve its shortcode. Then navigate to the appropriate post or page and add it there. This will work in both the classic and block editors. And there it is, a fully responsive custom table for your WordPress site. Thanks for joining us for this WP Table Builder tutorial. We'll see you in the next one.